Today we see an unusual held bid and discuss how to trade that unique circumstance. Hi, I'm Jeff Holden, Head of Recruiting at SMB Capital, a proprietary trading firm located in Midtown Manhattan trading equities, options, futures, and crypto as automated and discretionary traders. Today we see one of the cleanest examples of reading the tape out there. Our trader finds a stock with a held bid and we discuss how you can profit from this unique opportunity. So we're here with Ryan. Uh, tell us about yourself and uh, help us understand maybe the, the, the thing that you like most about the development process you're going through here. Yeah, so my name is Ryan. Uh, I just started on the desk a couple weeks ago as a junior intern. Um, and I think I've been really especially loving learning more about tape reading um, and then just getting to spend every day trading and reviewing my trades um, and seeing and like really unpacking my strengths and weaknesses has been something that's been really interesting and I think it's been missing from my trades for a while is getting to like fully break things down. So the learning about yourself yeah, within the yeah, trades, not just the trades. Exactly. Okay, cool. That's good. Uh, we had a meeting yesterday after the close with one of the senior traders. He talked about that exact thing, how important it is. So uh, today we're going to watch some tape that you had brought to us. Uh, we were trading this live, I believe, right? Yes. Okay, and we were yes. talking about how this bid just wouldn't drop. That was that meant. was yesterday. Uh, so the same thing happened yesterday. That this was from a week ago. This is from. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I was yeah. confused. Okay. Yeah. So let's go through the tape and 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 help us understand exactly what we're looking for within the tape um, and what you would classify this as. All right. So now a little little context uh, as to what was taking place before this trade. Um, so this took place on a Tuesday. Um, and throughout the weekend, Bitcoin had sold off pretty heavily. Um, it was a very rapid sell-off throughout the weekend, and we had traders react to it on Monday. Um, and so this was a play where I was looking at statistics um, just on based on how much it had sold off over the weekend, and we were like looking for a bounce. Um, and just historically, when we'd seen that much, we'd seen a bounce previously. Yeah. So we had a little bit of a long bias going into this. Um, and then throughout the day, we'd been forming this wedge that we'd been respecting pretty well. Um, and then the key levels that we were really looking at was the 50 level, which had been important the previous day, yeah. um, and then just the edge of this wedge. Um, so then going into the tape, um, as we can see here, we're near the bottom of it, um, yeah. and we're like we're looking for for buyers to be stepping in here yep. um, and pushing the price further up the offer. I mean, we're below 50 right now. Yeah. So what are you expecting to see? So I'm expecting to see the the buyers push it up to the 50 level, and then I'm expecting okay. to see some red as we get close to the 50 uh, okay. for the sellers to be defending that, Okay. Um, which is what we end up seeing here with this block um, of red as we get close to that 50 and level. Define what red is. On your um, so the, be, the, the red is what happens when we have offers that are taking place on the bid side of the bid ask spread. So things are being filled on the yeah. bid, so it's yeah. more aggressive so they're, they're, selling. They're, they're selling um, on the bid. Yep. Um, so they're just wanting to get filled and get into the market okay. on the short side. And um, is green. And green is when we have the the, uh, the, the trade offer, taking place okay. on the uh, offer okay. side. Okay. Perfect. Um, so yeah, we saw that that big chunk of orders get. I mean, filled. this is unusual for this to be this tight, for this name to be this tight. Like, yeah. It's penny widespread. That's yeah. This very this was unusual, we were right? seeing pretty good volume today, and then okay. we were seeing both uh, the bid and the offer being. Pretty I mean, our vol is only one point six though. That this still seems like exceptionally low like a tight spread. So it'll be interesting yeah. to see, maybe it yeah. spreads out, but just I've traded it before and uh, I don't ever remember. Yeah, <laughs> penny, I've, I've had some issues spreads. with it being pretty wide. Yeah, it can uh, usually touch a lot of prices, yeah. so. Um, so here's where we're approaching that 50 level. We just had the, yep. uh, the big chunk of offers, or orders getting placed at the bid as yeah, we yeah. had sellers come in to defend yeah. uh, that 50 level. Um, and I think we see a couple more come in here and we get a relatively large print um, yeah. On the offer side. Yeah, they clear that pretty aggressively too. Yeah. And then we just go right through it. Yeah. Um, and this was what I really wanted to see going into it. Um, and we also here we can go back ten seconds, just so we can see the volume. We had good volume come in. Yep. Um, I don't know why I was moving the chart around this much. Um, but yeah, as you can see right here, we had large volume come in as we broke through that fifty level, which was something that I was really looking for. Yep. Uh, just based on how significant the 50 level had been in the previous days. Yep. And this nicely coincided with the edge of our wedge pattern here. Yeah. Um, and then we can see that buyers have also stepped in 
um, pushing the price more towards the offer side. I mean, we've um, seen a buy program step in, right? Yeah. So now we have to figure out how relevant on a scale of zero being neutral, negative 10 being most bearish, positive 10 being most bullish, how would you classify this move? I would give this a solid seven. Okay. Um, just because I like the action that I'm seeing right now. I like that we're seeing the buyers step in above 50. Yep. Um, but I'm also very aware that Bitcoin can be quite choppy um, and Bitcoin related products yeah. um, can have a lot of false breakouts. Yeah. Um, and it's something that I'd be watching for to watch it get stuffed. Okay. Um, in which but case, specifically this, this, this specifically would be a seven or okay. eight. Cool. Like I'm, right, I'm liking great. this a lot. Yeah, we don't know what's gonna happen. What I need to like, see now is them defend the level as, as we come back down. Makes sense, cool, okay. If you wanna learn three more real world setups that our traders use, including the simple setup that we teach all of our new traders and the setup that turned one of our traders into a seven figure big money earner, check out the free webinar that we're currently running. Just go ahead and click the link that should be appearing now at the top right hand corner of your screen. That will open up the free registration page in a new window, so don't worry, you won't lose this video. You can also visit tradingworkshop.com to register for this free intensive workshop. You're gonna learn more in a couple of hours from this trading workshop than from years of online education. We can see here that the, uh, the bid ask spread has actually widened quite a bit yeah, more than it had bit, beforehand. Yeah. Um, and so what happens is we have a bunch of sellers come in pretty aggressively um, and but start hitting this 50 minute, and we just hold the 50 yeah. to a penny. Yeah. Um, and this becomes a trend uh, throughout the next couple minutes of this tape. There's just a buyer um, at 50. There is a buyer at 50 and we can see over on the montage. Um, and they're hitting it too. It, it's just, it's just hit it, it's getting hit, hit it, relentlessly, it, yeah. but we have these two orders. Um, that give me the idea that it might be an algorithm because we can you see it go the, down. Uh, just, uh, you can pause it for a second, just a point of learning. You're gonna want to put the exchange okay. on there. Yeah. And that's not important to the video, but like for you, you have okay, to put the exchange on there. Because otherwise we don't know. Is it 50, you know, they're not showing much size. Like, so, so now we can get back into the video of like, yeah. they're really not showing much size, right? No. It's two, that, two, like. That's you know, why I found it so interesting is, is once we play the video again, you can see once it gets down to one, it'll bounce back up to three and then okay. cycle and continue bouncing. So it's a hidden buyer so that's just sitting on the bid. It's just sitting and absorbing and they're getting all hit. of yeah, these yeah, aggressive yeah, sellers. Yeah, that's really interesting, okay. Um, and then what we can start to see here is that after this has been going on for a little while, we yeah. start to see more buyers okay. buying just barely in front okay. of the... Yeah, people step in. They yeah, and then the we, we also right? have, I don't know if they've appeared yet, but I'll pause it when they do. Okay. Um, we start to see more... Um, Bids come in just above. Okay. So we have people. Well, let's just watch. Let's just watch, and when we get to that stuff, let us know. Yeah. So we we can see more of, the, of these uh, these prints are coming in this just a great barely example above 50. of a hell bid. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and this is starting where I started to to believe that this bid was just going to hold. <laughs> um, and and we see more buyers starting to step yeah. in here as they to get belief in this. Uh, yeah. this strong buyer. And this is actually where I ended up taking a small long position um, with the, the caveat being that if we dropped the 50, I was out immediately. This is no a really question. interesting um, held bid. I don't remember a held bid like this in a long time where it's just refreshing bidder, refreshing yeah. bidder. Refre they, they, you know, they're not showing any size. They take them and then they refresh, take yeah. them refresh. And we just keep going here. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you want me to skip ahead because we do hold this for a couple of minutes. Yeah, um, just go ahead and skip ahead. Like, That's amazing. It's we're still here. Thirty seconds later, just that's amazing. And the crazy amount is is this they're selling at 01. Yeah, the amount wow. of size too that they're on both sides of it. Yeah, is is a lot. So this this buyer is clearly has a big appetite for coin shares. Well, look at the offer too. The offer ha doesn't really lift much, or if they lift it, then yeah. does it get? taken right back down. And so. this is, I think it's either here that we pull up or we go back one more time. Okay. Um, and we can just see that this is just exhausting the sellers. Yeah. I mean, there can't be that many more sellers once you've just unloaded all of the, oh, we're back here at the, at the yeah, 50. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so this is the first of two. I think the first time it fails to lift off and the second time it um, goes. But this was a time that I was definitely more nervous with my long position as we came back down. I mean, um, just because we tried still to there, lift right? off, but since yeah. he was still there, I was yeah. still holding my position. Right after this, you you can be really aggressive. Um, I think you could you could have bought yeah fifty oh five as soon as it lifts again. And I understand you get nervous because you're looking at oh they just stuffed it back down, but like yeah. the fact that they stuffed it like that and it didn't drop 
at all. Yeah. Like this should be a 50, 60 cent up move, like, you yeah. know, like off of that, because you think about, you have a combination of shorts covering and you have a combination of buyers stepping in. Um, that's really interesting. Go ahead and, yeah. and play it through. And then, and then what we're seeing here is as we pull off of it, we're seeing the tape quicken a little bit um, as yeah. we're, we're seeing more buyers come in yeah. um, and fill in, be more aggressive and pushing the price That's kind of what you want to see, right? Yeah. Like they're just kind of walking it up, walking it up, walking it up. And know? a lot of it just comes because we've exhausted a lot of the sellers. Like Yeah, you probably have, you know, right? I mean, if I was a seller in this, it'd so be a what, feeling of hopelessness as you go against yeah, such exactly. a large bid. What, um, what would you be looking for to exit your long? Um, so what I was really looking for here was the just start to roll, and then I wanted to see red just start to come in. I wanted to see more offers taking place at okay. the bid, okay. um, and the bid to not hold. Because to this point, we haven't really retraced at all. I mean, you just saw like a 20 cent jump, which is yeah. like, that was gonna be one of the things that I was gonna ask, is like if you start to see a skipping to the upside, yeah. you know, because in theory, you're trading what? Against shorts that hit 50, and they yeah. feel really bad about their position. Now you're going to expect them to cover, cover, cover on the way up, yeah. and that's yeah. spray, spray, spray. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah. So definitely looking for places where a seller would be in danger or would yeah. start to panic yeah, um, yeah, and start yeah. to, to need to get out of their position. Yeah. Um, and this is actually where we see this buyer come back. Okay. Um, so as we come into 5040, um, which was the previous relative high. Yeah. Um, we see once again um, the same kind of setup on the montage where we have those two separate orders. Yeah. Um, they're relatively small volume, so yeah. not much volume shown or size shown on the yeah, montage. You gotta, yeah, you got to get the exchange on yeah. your box because yeah. then you know you have so much more information needed on both sides, but yeah. that you have so much more information there of like who's actually, you know, we never really know who's actually buying. It's not like the old days where some of the real older traders on our desk will tell us, oh, Goldman's on the bid. Like, what? we don't know that, but... Yeah the reality is this is such an unusual. Yeah, and that was, like this is, I think I might add to this, but in the future this is where I'd definitely add more. Yeah. Because this, this, this was the first time I'd really seen such a massive buyer step into a tape. That's what the training um, program's all about, is yeah. you get experience to things that you never even knew existed before. Yeah. And then it's not about doing it right the first time, but it's getting the experience, and now you're like, yeah. And when this I could happened buy this yesterday, all day. like yeah. it, it was more apparent to me what could happen is when we saw it again, I was Good. more ready for what the possibility. So you're was. learning from that yeah. experience because you saw the offer that wouldn't lift at 56 yesterday. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So that's good. But the difference was yesterday when we had the more bullish bias, I was looking for them to eventually get exhausted because mm -hmm. we had more buyers coming in. Or actually you could um, think about it the other way of that offer at 56 wouldn't lift and this isn't on the tape here, but that offer 56 wouldn't lift when it did lift exactly like 40, right? Like, yeah. so, so if 40 drops, like that's fine, but you'd kind of expect it to rebid, yeah. right? So like you can trade it in both directions. Um, yeah. Not necessarily in this case, this is just a great long. Yeah. I mean, this is a really good pickup of a, this is one of the more aggressive held bids I've seen in a long time. And like, especially for it to happen twice, really, yeah. really like, made it clear to me but that someone really like aggressively that. was wanting to buy yeah. and wasn't sure it was going to come back. They bought at 50, 50 and then they step up to 50, 40, which is the high, which is yeah. very unusual. Um, yeah. And we just, we push from here once we break, once we uh, yeah. exhaust the sellers once again. That held bid is unbelievable. It's just so strong and like it really, in the future if I ever, and see I added to my position, nice. right? I doubled Good. it um, just in anticipation of us. Yeah, because your stops can be it's a 30, yeah. 36 cents because if it drops, you're probably going to 30 cents. So, but it'll probably spray back up. So you could probably get 36 cents yeah. and then your other stop could still be below 50. And you know, you're in a really good position. If it sprays up another 40 cents, guess what? You've all, all of a sudden put yourself in a really nice position on the day. So yeah, I think and that's good. this is a position where I, I've got a lot interested in like looking for this stuff in the future and I'm, I've been thinking about ways to try to make scripts into that yeah. um, to help detect when this is happening. Yeah. Um, and then I, also... I honestly, I've been trading for a while. I don't remember something yeah. this clean. <laughs> maybe maybe so, nothing like so this. maybe but, you'll um, never see it again, but this is pretty impressive, and, actually. Yeah. I, I remember sitting at the desk and a couple of guys around me were all just watching the... Yeah. Like it was just ridiculously well held. This is unbelievable to see this buying at this level. This is so impressive. I think we're about to lift here um, above 5040. Do you need anything? Okay. Um, 
positions. We can see once again we're starting to get um, now you can almost do a buy higher. Buys. Like yeah, you could yeah. buy you could buy above fifty. You saw it go up to fifty forty four. And we're just we're still holding here. Yeah. Now you're just um, at this point. You know you're you're obviously managing your risk, but you're thinking if this lifts, we saw it go up forty cents, and and we saw that spray. You could see another move. You could see another forty yeah. fifty cent move. So you know with a held bid like this, you can really be aggressive against that. Oh, this is where it's interesting, right? They tried to step it down and they can't even get it down. Yeah. It's just crazy. Like the uh, the strength of this buyer was really yeah. really the key part in the tape for me and it, it also kind of a changed my view on on coin for the long cuz I was seeing that if we're having such heavy buyers step in to buy stock like they're Definitely more of a long bias. Yeah. Um, well, there you go. To me, even in the long run for the rest I mean, of the look day. At, look at how quickly yeah. it went to 55 cents, right? Yeah. And then now they're bidding 46. So, you know, like, I guess yeah. they dropped and 46. Th this was the last time that we 40. saw. Oh, so I wonder if this is going to be the second thing again where they come down a second time. Um, and I, I, we barely spend any time back here again. Mm -hmm. um, and then we just we lift off for the rest of the move. Awesome. Um, and so what I was really looking for now is I was not sure that the buyer would step back in, but I was yeah. definitely looking for it a little bit yeah. more um, just because they'd made such a clear appearance on the montage when they'd I'm come I'm just in. looking at the volume on the, what is that, a one-minute chart? Or, yeah, one-minute yeah, chart one minute. also. You see the, the pickup in volume relative to the prior period. So yeah. that's, the, you're seeing everything you want to see. It checked all of my boxes for this a move really off of awesome. this wedge. Yeah, now um, you want to see another... I mean, you already got that forty cents up, so it'll be interesting to see if it fails here. Yeah. But this is this is probably as good of a held bid example as I've ever seen. <laughs> and um, I was I was really lucky know, to come across this. Yeah, yeah. No, this is really good, and the fact that you were I think a lot of this stuff comes down to really good stock selection. Mm -hmm. You were in something that was in and play. So, yeah. Here we started to see. Sorry to, to yeah, cut in no. there. But here we started to see really a, kind of a change of character on the tape. We'd seen a lot of consistent buying against the offer. Um, and now we started to see significantly more selling on the bid. Yeah. Um, and this kind of raised a couple red flags for me just in this area. Like I wasn't ready, necessarily ready to sell out immediately, yep. but it was, it was definitely tipping me off that this straight move might be coming it's a to dollar a close. essentially straight up. Yeah. So, you know, you do want to be, and um, off of a tape trade, like yeah. that's what's so amazing about this is it's a dollar up off of, a held bid, like usually yeah. a held bid, you're looking for like twenty cents, yeah. thirty cents. This Yesterday, held I think with it was the like forty six or thirty cent. Move yeah, that yeah, we got. yeah. Like that's pretty um, normal. This is a really unusual held bid, so yeah. that's really impressive. Um, and we're just we're still going here, so yeah. we we'd, we'd started to see it get a little bit weaker. Yep. Um, and so I was definitely getting more ready to look for it to start to roll over. Yeah. Um, but as you can see, we're still moving higher here, um, relatively consistently. Yeah. Um, just pushing. A nice job just cent holding. Cent. It, yeah. You know, let it beat you at this point. Because, yeah, exactly. And like, I, you know, I really had you get, like, a little really to good lose. Spread. We yeah. had a ways down. I was a ways above my entry price. Yeah, no, this is really good. Um, and as you can see, we're still moving higher here, and we can see more buyers continuing to step back in. Yeah. So this kind of reinvigorated my bullish. And then this was a big change here as well. Oh, um, we yeah, where we see, stepped up to like 38 and then dropped and then real just quickly. just immediately yeah. saw a bunch of sellers step in at the bid. So, that, so right there, you're, you're thinking, lighten up. Yeah. I'm going to offer up at 30, because they're not, they're, they're, just because it dropped doesn't mean it's going to reverse right away. You yeah. know, you can still lighten up out of your position. You can yeah. say, I'm going to take half off. I've made a point and a half almost um, in the, on my initial position. So I'm going to offer at 35, 36, and then it, you know, it goes up to 40, and yeah. let's see what happens at 45. Yeah. Let's, you know, there you go. You get the bid step up to 45. Now you can just like, really tighten your stop the entire way up, which is pretty mm -hmm. cool, so. Yeah, and that, that's definitely like position management has been something that I've been working on a lot yeah. too, like, because um, I, I have a tendency to either get too flighty when I'm in a position um, or let it run too far, and I think yeah. it's obviously difficult yeah, to balance a, a, those things. a trade like this, you cannot let go against you. This yeah. is a held bid trade, you have a held bid, like. That's your catalyst. That's your catalyst, yeah, You're exactly. just riding the wave of the momentum. After. Exactly, and so you don't want to be the one that had a dollar plus, and then let it came come all the way back a dollar yeah, on you. Yeah, exactly. So, um, so yeah, we're, we're starting to stall a little bit more here, which yeah. is what I was noticing. Like that pace that we were growing is is falling, though we're still seeing a good presence of buyers. And you're seeing a lot of offers, um, in like above forty five. Like, 
Yeah, but what I'm, what I'm also noticing products. here too yeah. is that on our the left time in sales, which is which is larger offers, we're seeing a lot more sellers come in. Oh, interesting. Um, okay. On the larger, yeah. so this is where I start to get like a lot more pessimistic about yeah. like our future, just because. Yeah. I mean, you should be out by now. Honestly, um, when it failed that second time above forty-five, you should be out. Okay. I I think right like. You know, maybe it goes higher, but the momentum's dead in this now. Yeah, I think something I need to learn from this is not to get confused between my two catalysts. Correct. I was already trading long for the day. Correct. Um, and I think this is a great example of what we talk about on the desk a lot. Of literally, you do all the work to put yourself in the right position. Yeah. And then sometimes you get something like this. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You're in the you right thing. You, you can't, can't like prepare. Think for, this is you can't prepare for. You can't come into the 8:40 meeting and say, "I'm going to trade held uh, a held bid if I get it in coin." Yeah. today. No, it's just something that you see. Trades, yeah, yeah, exactly. But you can make half your stop, and three quarters right of your stop. There yeah. was where we closed out the position, which I did let it slip a little bit too yeah, far. Yeah, and I yeah. think looking back, going with the momentum. That's right a good there. learning lesson is you don't want to be selling there. You want to be selling when you lose the momentum. Near yeah, the top, like, like in the mid 40s, yeah. like it failed twice, like be done. Like yeah. wait and see. You don't know what's going to happen from there. And you can't say like if it all of a sudden goes to fifty two and a half, like oh I made a bad trade. No, you made a really good trade. Yeah. If you're selling at forty, think about it. You gave back a third of that move. Yeah. Just by not taking the exit when you had it. So. Yeah, I, I that's think the one thing again, like a reason that like it was a bit harder for me in this this case was because I was trying to trade coin from a long perspective on the yeah, overall yeah, yeah, day. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so like that's yeah. why you can see I'm still holding on to half yeah, of my yeah, position yeah, here yeah, is because yeah, I was yeah. looking for the move higher. Yeah, um, which I thought I had like the catalyst set up for. I mean, this is a this is this is everything about what trading is, which is this is an amazing example of a huge risk reward opportunity yeah. that you have, where your risk is incredibly small and your reward potential is much greater than I honestly thought it would be. Um, that second held bid at at fifty forty is really impressive. The mm -hmm. first one's impressive, but that second one like, is really really probably impressive. the same buyer doing it again. It, it like, looks like it, it right, yeah. based on the tape. Um, but it's also entirely what trading is. You got exactly what you wanted out of this, yeah. and you didn't take advantage yeah, of it, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> if you get exactly what you want out of it, you have to re be prepared to be like, I'm good. That's yeah. exactly what I wanted. This is best case scenario. I'm out. Like, you know, if and it's tough to do because it didn't happen in the way that you expected mm -hmm. it to. Yeah. But that's a part of the beauty of life and, and the beauty of trading is sometimes things happen that you don't expect them to. And if you take advantage of it, you can walk away thinking, I'm up half a stop on the day. I'm up three quarters of a stop on yeah. the day. And just call it call and it on that. Call that it trade. for now. Yeah. Because yeah. because that specific trade has specific entry criteria. It yeah. has specific exit criteria. Um, if you get caught thinking, This is my entry, but I'm trading it on a higher time frame, it's unlikely you're going to be able to realize the full potential of the yeah. amazing opportunity that you were just offered in this. So um, yeah, I mean, I'll do a scorecard after on this, and I'll post it. My guess is you're going to fall ab about an 85, I think. Yeah. You're recognizing the right things on this. Mm -hmm. um, the one thing is you're not allowing that to guide your decision-making on exit. Okay, you allowed yeah, it to yeah. guide your decision-making on entry, which mm -hmm. is perfect. Yeah. So you were listening to the stock. You bought it. You added. You did everything you should do. Yeah. Exits matter so much in this, too. And yeah. so when you're letting it come that far against you, it's like really difficult. Yeah, uh, and I, I think this is like this is the one way that like reading the tape has helped me a lot. Like yep. in preparing for this, is like I think I'm seeing it more, and especially yesterday when we had a similar setup. Like I was able to to recognize when that trade was no longer in my favor, and like when that move had ended, and I was able to cut my position yep. there and take full advantage of the move instead of here where I let some of it slip back. But that's me. a part of learning, yeah. and and you're not going to get it right the first time. You're not going to get it right the second time. But as you're getting better, you're going to recognize, I don't want to feel like this again. I don't want this thing to come back 70 exactly, cents yeah. on me, take back half the move, and then I'm kicking out the rest of my position. Yeah. It's like, nope, I'm going to be better this time. And you know, we don't get it right all the time. We don't get it right most of the time. But mm -hmm. if you do it good enough, you're going to be in a really good position. So yeah. thank you very much for showing this tape. Um, this was kind of one of the more fun ones I've yeah, seen. I'm excited about this because I've never, I don't remember seeing 
penny wide spread held bid that <laughs> takes it up two points like that, or I guess a point and a half like that. That that is pretty impressive. So. It, was, it was a pretty surprising thing for me to see in my yeah first in the middle of the day. Yeah, 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 the yeah, yeah. No, good recognition on your part. So thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Hey, go ahead and click our subscribe button so you don't miss any of the videos they were producing for you in the trading community. And please take the time to add your feedback in the comment section for what videos you'd like for us to produce next and what you found helpful from this video from all of us at SMB. Train and trade well.